In this video, I'm going to show you how to use hotkeys with KeyFest. So to start off, make sure that you get these little pop-up windows. Um, if you don't, you can enable them by clicking on After Effects, Preferences, General, and then clicking this little checkbox. So once you have those enabled, you can see that some of these buttons work with Shift, and some of these buttons also work with Command. Uh, so let's start from the top with the easing button. So if I have some layers here, and I have some keyframes, and I click this button, it's going to ease those keyframes. Um, but maybe I want to ease all the keyframes on these layers. So I can hold shift, it's a little shortcut that will ease all those layers, um, which is nice if you're dealing with a lot of layers. Uh, up next we have the side buttons. So uh, if I click this button, by default, um, in my settings, I have a 300 pixel slide. So um, the first time I click it, I have a 300 pixel slide in. Second time I click it, I have a 300 pixel slide out. Um, that's nice if you just want to nudge a layer, but sometimes I want something more dramatic. I want it to slide all the way from out of screen. Um, I can see here that it has a full slide if I hold shift. So let's hold shift, let's click, and now we can see it's off of screen and we get a full slide in. Then let's hold shift, and the second time we get a full slide out. Um, up next, uh, we can actually hold command. Uh, like you noticed, we have a slide in first, but sometimes we actually don't want that slide in first. Sometimes we just want to skip straight to the slide out. So you can hold command, and it'll skip that initial slide in and just give you the slide out. Um, I can actually hold these together, um, which I just did. Um, if I hold shift, it'll give me a full slide. If I hold command, um, it'll make sure that I just get the slide out, not the slide in. Um, this is what that looks like if I just hold command. It just gives me a 300 pixel bump. Um, so yeah, I just experiment with that, uh, get a feel for it. Uh, if it's kind of confusing to you, I would just recommend um, just don't bother uh, because these buttons are still going to be useful got the hotkeys. So up next, we have scale, and if we hold command, then we also get a center anchor point. So in this situation, we have this weird anchor point. Um, when we scale up, then it scales up from that point. But if we hold command, it first centers the anchor point, and then scales up from the center. Um, same thing with the rotate. We have a command for center anchor point so that we don't get these weird rotates. Um, but we also have a shift, so the shift amplifies the amount of the rotation by times 2. So my default setting amount is 90. So if I just click it, it'll rotate 90. But if I click it with the shift, it'll rotate twice that much. So 180 degrees. Um, with the trim path, this is our default, so we have a trim path on. Uh, but if we hold command, then it reverses the direction of that trim path. So, now, here I'll demonstrate that one more time. So this went clockwise. But if I don't hold command, then it goes counterclockwise. Um, shift and click on the stagger layers, and it will double your amount. And if I command click, it will clone your keyframes. So let's go ahead and clone some keyframes. I'm sorry, uh, stagger your keyframes. So I'll make a number of keyframes on these layers to demonstrate. Select a bunch of keyframes, hold command. And now we stagger the keyframes instead of staggering the layers. Uh, you can also use them together and hold shift and also command, and it'll double the default amount that you have set here, and save you a few clicks. Okay, um, clone. So as you know, your clone keyframe button does this, um, but maybe uh, these layers, I'm sorry, these um, keyframes are not where you want them to be. Maybe you actually want them to be aligned to your little um, timeline cursor here. And so if we hold command, then it will align whatever keyframes you selected to this point. Uh, the last one is this button right here. This is the time reverse button. 
So let's say we have a situation like this with super dramatic easing. So the easing starts immediately and then slows down. Now when we time reverse, um, it's actually the opposite. It starts very slow and slows immediately. Now this may feel inconsistent in your animations when your easing is the exact opposite when you time reverse. So after you time reverse, you might just want to click ease. Um, but to save you from doing that, if you want to just hold command when you hit time reverse, then what it will do is it will time reverse your layers, and then it will ease your layers with your default easing amount. Um, so that's it for the hotkeys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy KeyFast. Uh, I built it so that you could not do all the boring stuff, and you can just use this panel to do the boring stuff, and then make better animations with your extra time. And I hope you guys enjoy it. See ya.